Hi friends, this is Victoria Vivas with the Sacred Frequencies. Yesterday I was chatting with my cousin in Spain and I love her so much and we were just chatting about remembering our dreams. So I wanted to share with her some ideas on how she can better remember her dreams and I thought, you know what, I should do some sacred frequencies so that also other people can benefit from this. So if you're looking forward to remembering your dreams, this is the video for that. The first part that I would like to share is what I do normally to remember my dreams. For example, she was telling me, I am trying to remember my dreams, but it is so difficult. So right there, we already have the first step of how we create our reality. The trying, when we try something, it is not necessarily that we are doing it. If you say, try to get up from the chair, it is not the same that get up from the chair. You know, trying is like, you know, but just getting up from the chair is just getting up from the chair. <laughs> so the same we do when we speak about other things. The second part would be, but, it is so difficult. Anytime that we use but, we are actually negating the first part of the phrase. So that's why some people may get a little upset when you say, you know, you are wonderful, but blah, 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 blah. <laughs> so better to say, and blah, 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 blah. So we keep, you are wonderful, and also this much. <laughs> so in this case, the same. I am wanting to remember my dreams and it is challenging, for example. Challenging is a little bit softer than very difficult. So we can continue progressing on how we express ourselves. Also, she was mentioning that a friend of hers is actually able to remember a lot of her dreams. So that is a good indicator. When we have somebody in our vicinity that already has what we are wanting to accomplish, that is a sign that we are so close to that. So we can congratulate ourselves for that. Okay, another thing that I recommend, before going to bed, do some meditation or calm your mind and focus on your breathing. I had the experience of, for example, creating music at night and then going to bed and then when I was almost falling asleep, I was hearing the music on my head like continuously. Or playing video games, going to bed and then see the video game all the time when I was in the bed. So that is going to interfere a little bit with the peaceful clarity of what our dreams can bring to us. So we want to make sure before going to bed, like maybe an hour before we start disconnecting and start focusing on our breathing and on our inner self. So that's another recommendation. Also, you can have a journal for your dreams. This journal should be on your nightstand because the next thing that we need to do is write down our intention of remembering our dreams. So you can just write down, I intend to remember my dreams and then go to bed. The day after, instead to go, get up and go to the bathroom or do something else, no, we wake up and as we open our eyes, we take the journal and write anything that we remember. Even if it is a tiny, tiny thing, just write it down. Because my experience is that if I go to the bathroom or for some water or something, I totally forget the dreams. <laughs> but if I stay in the bed, even in the same position that I woke up, that helps me keep that energy from the dream and bring it into this third dimension. So this is bringing extrasensory information into our 
physical life uh, into our third dimension and you know making it tangible on paper that is the next step to make it tangible then we can talk about it also and as we talk about it with other people afterwards then we may remember even more things so just practice this and the more we practice of course the better we get at it just trust yourself enjoy the process and open to remember your dreams okay <laughs> so those are some recommendations and now we're going to be chanting the sacred frequencies so For today, my intention is connecting with Lyra, with the 11th dimension, so that I can channel frequencies that help us remember in our dreams.
I love you, cousin. <laughs> We all came from one source, shining like rays from the sun, but we may not know. Humankind is one soul, expanding like rays from the sun, but we may not know. Rise above, reconnect with your higher self and with your